Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, co primate, and welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. But before I get started, you may notice that I'm on Samper Life, and the reason for that is I found this nifty little video over here. And the video is done by Source Code right here. You can go subscribe to him. He's got 1,004 subscribers right now, but amazing person. In fact, why am I not subscribed? Oh my gosh, subscribed right there. So I wanted to give a shout out to Source Code for finding this. Um, it's very convoluted, like it's very complicated on how it's done, but it's an actual modded sawmill and it takes all of these parts, as you can see here at the very beginning, um, maybe if it will load for me. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we're having crashes, crashes, bashes, and head blowing smashes. You'll buy the whole seat, but only near the edge. Wow, that was, that was loud. So. All these pieces over here at the left-hand side, you're gonna need a Solmax 2, two of them. Uh, one of them needs to be set to 2.8 and 2.6. I think you can do it with threes and threes, um, but the other one, or threes and 2.8s. Anyhow, you also have to have a whole bunch of conveyor belts, whole bunch of um, uh, pieces of wood, uh, a pressure plate, a hatch, and then a whole bunch of uh, wires. So how this works, he goes through and he puts it all together in a very specific manner. And he also says that if you're in the plot in front of the land store, it has to be facing south. There's very, like, it's very specific. But after he goes through and creates all of these things, he proves at the very end that it does work. So right here, oh, I'm going to turn that down because I don't, I don't know if it's copywritten or not. Right here, he goes and puts it in. He's got conveyor belts pulling the wood back towards the, uh, the wrong direction of the the thing so when he clicks this it either causes a glitch something happens the it reverses all of the uh, conveyor belts and it pulls the entire tree in now it works on oaks but i'm i'm curious to wonder if it, it works on elms and and firewood and everything else and if it does oh my goodness so like i said a uh, huge shout out to source code for for finding that uh the other thing is this cannot be done alone. It has to be built with two people because you have to do a glitch building in order to move stuff around. So with that said, I have uh, asked my good buddy Code Primate to join me inside the server and we are going to go and try and build this thing. So um, if you give me just a second, I should be able to switch over to Code for just a second. There he is. Oh, he's, he's standing up there at the top of the thing. Here he comes. Oh, oh no, he landed into the ground. That's that's horrible code. Are you okay? He's like, I'm, I'm good, I'm okay, I'm okay. Okay, it's really hard to control because I'm trying to do this through remote uh, remote PC stuff. So um, what we're going to need is we're going to have to hit the menu, whitelist, sample life, good. And then that should give me, I'll go ahead and whitelist code as well. Whitelist code, there we go. So if I move this, just get this out of the way for a second. Move this, get it out of the way for a second. This was me attempting to build it the first time and I, I was like, it's it's taken too long and I've already messed it up because these were not set properly. So this needs to be on 2.8 and this one needs to be on 2.6, just like that. So 2.8, 2.6. Uh, the next thing is you have to have four of these large floors all in the same place. I think this is just for positioning, but it also, it lifts the uh, lifts the build off the ground so it's not sitting on the ground. Next, we're going to move this and it's going to be rotated backwards facing the wall like that. So this, this is going to be the entrance technically, but it's also going to be the exit. So next thing that I need to do is I need to put this inside of that and the way we're going to do that is I'm going to push this all the way up we're just going to go max out 3 and 2.6 like that and okay I'm going to start the move here so move not going to touch it and then I'm going to switch over to code I'm going to unwhitelist and hit close now back on sample life I'm going to hit B to cancel the move nothing appears so on my other screen, on, on my team viewer, I can still see this, this sawmill, but it doesn't exist to my character. That's how this works. That's how the glitch builds work. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that, that knew that already. So back over on code, we're going to whitelist Sam once again. And then back on Sam, 
we're going to move this one into place. And it's going to be at the exact same spot as the first one. You can't even be one unit off. It's got to be exact. And we're, we're going to back this up just a little bit. Actually, we're going, to, we're going to turn the lights on so we have a little bit of light to work off of. Next, um, I think I've got to do the same thing with this one. So I'm going to move, go back over to code. We're going to unwhitelist myself. Boom, like that. And then back on code, hit B. Or sorry, back on Sam, we hit B. Now, this is, it, it's still there, I promise. Both sawmills are in the same place, same time, all that good stuff. So, next it says to build two um, small walls, hand them off to your, your main character, the one that can still see this stuff, and place them right across the top here. So, hang tight and I'll build those. There's the blueprints. I just constructed the walls. And now, I, I'm viewing code, and what I gotta do is I've got to hit E on these move and then we've got to do a rotate turn oh this is going to be difficult we're going to place them right on top just like that oh gosh come on code come on don't don't bug out on me don't but oh my gosh holy cow that is some bugginess we are lagged we are super lagged okay hold on Oh, okay. Well, I only need to get one up there because uh, Sam's still whitelisted, so I can just do this. I can move this, and then we can do a turn. Like that. There we go. So these these are nice and even. Oh, wait. Oh, they're like one off. Oh, no. Hold on. Let me consult. Okay. From what I saw in the video, it cannot be one off. It's got to be exactly on there. So we're going to just move forward like that. And then I should be able to move this one forward, like this. There we go. So, exact measurements, okay? I'm, I'm not messing this up. I am not messing this up, promise. Okay, so it looks like the only reason he put both these on top was to uh, make sure that this one has the distance that it needs, um, I think. Hold on, let me, let me take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was the bottom one he took. So, that makes sense, I think. So whenever you unwhitelist him, he takes the bottom one and moves it down. That way, the top one is kind of floating three, or one unit off of the thingy. So, uh, all we have to do is move this one. Move. We're going to place it down here, like so. Alright, and remember, the, the two sawmills are here. So. Then he takes a single tile. I don't think I think this is too small, so we're we're going to destroy that one. Oh wait, I can't destroy that. Okay, well we'll, we'll just build uh, tile. Is it regular tile? Yeah, it's a regular tile. So we'll turn that, and it fits right there. Uh, how many does he do? Okay, so it, the the tile is just for measurement, so I don't actually need to build it. I just need to have the spacer there. And for those of you that don't know, well, when you place down just a blueprint by itself, here, I'll, I'll do some experiment here. Uh, rotate, turn. When you place down just a, a blueprint like that, you can still use that to, uh, let's do a turn, to gauge height. So like whenever you're placing things, it still, ooh, excuse me, it still attaches. So that's okay. We can just use regular blueprints. We don't have to actually Put those in because they're not used later on and even if they are like even if the, we leave them in place I can always fill them in so just for measurements for now that's what we got mm. okay <clears throat> it says that we need some straight conveyors there's a straight conveyor right out of the box and we are going to turn it so let's do a rotate it needs to hang five units off the end here. Or half half of its length needs to be off. I can't tell. I'm, I'm gonna move this wall. There we go. Oh, no, this is itchy. Oh, I got it backwards. That is uh, that is facing the wrong way. So we're just going to move that real quick. And right, oh, right there. One, two. 
Just like that. Uh oh, we're we're off centered. Oh, and that's because this place this is in the way now. Oh man. Come on, just ah. Okay. Mm, try this again. Move. Go right. There. There we go. Halfway through. Good. Now why did that turn that direction? Oh goodness. No, that's good. That's good. Okay. That that'll be good. So that's the on position right there. This is the off position. So if I were to put an electrical signal to it, it'd go here, and then it'd go here for the off, right? Maybe. I think. Hmm. Well, it's supposed to be facing this way. Anyhow, that's good. And we are in the wrong spot. I just realized. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, I found it, I found it. Down here at the bottom, uh, it says the ferry bridge, sawmill should be facing the ocean, uh, volcano entrance, left side, sawmill should be facing the road. So all we have to do is pick this base up and move it over one slot and it, it should work. So that'll be good. Head back in and we are going to build. Uh, I need to place three more conveyor belts on those. So I got one more here and then I got a, a couple under here, so. Let's just move these all in. And I, I still got two more over there as well. So lots of conveyor belts to play with. That'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be good. Um, and then this one. Move. One, two, three. Is it three or four? I can I can never remember. And the reason I can't remember is because I don't I don't remember um, seeing it. Okay, it's definitely four on the bottom part, like that. Here we go with number three. And we're gonna place it on just like this. I, prob I probably should have gathered up all my materials first to do this, but I didn't, so I don't care. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it's fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Actually, no, I won't be fine. I don't think I've got any, oh, there we go. There's some more conveyor belts right over there. How many are there? Are there three here? Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go ahead and move these over. Just like that. One, two, three, four. Code, why are you doing that instead of doing the uh, the one unit chop saw? Well, because the, uh, the mod saw has much more use for me uh, than the, the one chop, so. I'm gonna go look and see what the next step is. Okay, it says now place three tiles under the upper smooth wall like so. And I just realized I think you were watching, you were watching the, uh, I think you were watching the YouTube instead of, of me. <laughs> oh gosh, how long has it been like that? Okay, so uh, we are going to place three tiles. I'm going to destroy that one. I cannot destroy. I forgot. Not large tiles. We don't need large. We need, we need, we need not an ax, we need there. There we go. And I think they go right in the center, like this. One, two, and three. Is that right? Three, one, let me look. Okay, so yes, it is three, as you can see right here. There are three units, and then he places a conveyor belt right in the center of that, and that puts it at like a, a staggered step of the conveyors that are below it. I think that's what causes the uh, the weirdness is the stagger. So let's go ahead and grab one of these, move. Let's look and see how it's rotated. That's that's good. So now we need to place it exactly under here. Underwear? Under here. I mean, you say underwear. Ah. Oh, oh, is that, is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's good. So then we can just place uh, two more off of these. Wait, is it staggered? Is it right in the center? It is not right in the center. So that is wrong. Wrong code. Wrong. Okay. Look down at the ground. Go back one. Back one more. Uh, is that too much? There we go. Okay. Okay. Did that work? Yeah, there we go. So it's staggered. Exactly staggered. Do, 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 do. Okay. So now we can grab here. 
and grab one more. Move. And drop here. There we go. So, there should be three just like that. Okay, so the next part needs to be done by the primary character, the one that can still see the sawmills. Uh, but before we do that, it says to move the walls and the tiles out of the way. So you, you can you can move all this stuff so they can see the top of the thing. Move this. Move this. Move this. There we go. One, two, three. That should be... Oh, we, just, we still got one more tile under there. Move. Good. Just like so. And then uh, we need a pressure plate. And I think I've got a pressure plate around here somewhere. Okay, so I didn't have a pressure plate. I'm going to have to purchase a pressure plate. Hello. Pressure plate. Hello, Tom. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sam. How are you today? I'm good. I, I need to purchase a pressure plate. What what in heaven's for? You haven't purchased a plate in so long. Well, I think uh, we found a way to do more mod wood. <gasps> a mod wood? I thought Defortio got rid of those. He did. He did. But um, somebody found a way to get it back. Really? I'd be interested to know how. Well, I'm releasing a video tomorrow on it, so you can watch then, okay? Okay, good deal. See you later, Tom. Bye, Sam. Oh, I wonder if he subscribes to Sam or Code. I, I, I don't know. Anyhow. Okay, we can uh, we can lift this up. And, oh, we'll just drop this down right here. Boom, like that. And then hopefully I can actually do this. Oh, that's that's not good. That's uh, that's. Where's the Roblox game? There it is. Okay, here we go. So, oh gosh, I'm not working. Oh man, okay, hold on. There we go. Did I just step on the pressure plate? <laughs> I did. Okay, put pressure plate face down on the top of the sawmill, then place two tiles on top of it. So I need to take this pressure plate. Uh-oh, control, there we go. This pressure plate, move. It's very hard to control this remotely. And we're going to rotate, turn, rotate, turn. Uh-oh, turn, turn. And then we're going to do a rotate. And where should this be lined up at, I wonder? Is that, is that good? Hold on, let's go take a look. Okay, in his, he's about one unit away from the end of the sawmill. So, in ours, we're a little bit too close. We need to move this out one to about, about there, I would say. That way it's upside down, inside out. I'm about to tell you folks what it's all about. Okay, from here, oh. Uh, from here, I can just use these tiles, move right there, and this tile, two tiles on top, just like that. And then, once the two tiles are on, he places a hatch upside down and uh, facing away, and he says, remove the two tiles, like so. And then he continues to go ahead and just move those out of the way. So, these are exact measurements. I don't, I don't know how I found this, but I do have a hatch right over here so there we go move one hatch and we'll send it that way then we can do this move facing the ground it's going to go rotate rotate turn turn like that and it should go right on the edge just like that <clears throat> now, granted, you can't see the sawmills on my side, but I guarantee you they are still there. We'll move the tiles out of the way. That should be good. So, what's next, bro? What's, what do we got to do after that? Wait. Then do what? Flip the pressure plate so it's facing up towards the hatch. Uh, you have to do this on the on the first character. So let's go back over to 
uh, code. Get rid of that bar at the top. So now we need to hit move. Oh gosh, I'm going to do a turn turn. So it's now facing upright. And it's gotta go right underneath there. Hold on, come on, come on. Oh no, that's on top. We want it on, on there. Come on, come on, move for me. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me, oh, oh. Okay, and the reason for that is whenever, nope, not that, there we go. Whenever uh, this plate comes down, it'll actually open up the, the things. See that? So this is on, that's off. Oh, okay, okay. So these are off right now. So when it turns them on, it'll reverse the, the things. Hmm, okay. Okay, the next part he does uh, is he connects up all the wires, and this is actually done through a little bit of a speed lap, so I'm just gonna let this play. There we go. By the way, it didn't say there, there were any credits to anyone for this, so if you're the one that found this, credit goes to you. But if you found this from someone, be sure to go through and, and put it into your credits. But that says that we're done and we can test it. So uh, I should be able to use, use either one for this part, because, oh wait, no, I still gotta use, I gotta use sand, or I gotta use code for the, the top wire, but all those other wires, I can absolutely do myself. So we need seven wires, let's see. One, two, I, I don't I don't know, I don't know. We, we're gonna need a lot of wires, probably. Oh, we're just breaking down all kinds of stuff today. There's one, and then here's two which I just realized I have, I have a bunch of um, wires left over because I was, I was going to do signatures and I ended up not. Because, because why? Because I, I didn't have the courage to do so. All right, hold on one second. Okay, so we're back and, oh gosh, can I move those? There we go. Move, we're just going to attach here. Nil. Nil. Why is it nil? Can't attach directly, I guess. I guess I could just do that, couldn't I? Oh gosh. Hold on, let's hit B, go here, and here. <laughs> it's gonna be all kinds of messed up. All right, finished, there we go. Uh, it should be fine, it'll be fine. Actually, no, we, we have to do this in the exact same way that he did it. Uh, and I think the problem is I can't place directly on um, things. So let's switch back over to code. Can you pick that up and can you place directly on things? Let's see. Cannot, it still does nil. So we're gonna have to start from this one. Let's go ahead and cut, there we go. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. So we're going to start from the plate. I'm gonna go up to this little corner because that, that shouldn't affect it, right? The swing is going to be on a on a curve right there. And this is going in a straight line, which shouldn't disrupt it. Let's go here. Now with that, I should be able to, oh, no, come here. I should be able to go from here to here. And from here to here. Oh gosh, come on code, get out the way. There we go. To here, finished. And then from here, from here to here. 
finished? No. Here. No. Here. To here. Finished. Oh, uh, I guess I can drop this down right now. That will turn all the wires on. That way I know it's, it's active. Hmm. From here to here. Yay, that turned on. And from here. Oh, come on. There we go. Nope. Come on. Nice. Okay. That <coughs> should be it. So that's that is the uh, the mod saw. Let's go test it out. I have to reload uh, code over in the correct slot. I'm I'm currently on the wrong side. So, so this slot that we're on right now is the wrong one. We're on the the right side. We need to be over on that left side. So, uh, let's go this way. There we go. That's the correct one. And the sawmill is facing out towards the road. Let that load in. And we're gonna go ahead and take a piece of wood. Let's see, where's my end times axe? I, I could have sworn I had an end times in here. There it goes. Taking it, and actually we're taking a tree, not a piece of wood. And we're going to take it, stick it in here and just like this. Um, we have to get the, the end in there. So, oh, whoa, 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 no tree flipping, no tree flips. Come here. And we're gonna go downward like that. Get in there, get in there. Just like that. Now what it's doing is this is pulling back on the uh, on the, the thing itself. So, as soon as I hit this button, it should release the hatch, keep pulling, and hopefully, hold on. Oh man, it's a mod saw! It is a true mod saw. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. Do you know how, how, oh, hold on. Why is it not? Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to hit the, the hatch again. There we go. Hit the hatch and let's go ahead and zoom in. Up, 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 up. There you go. Yep, it starts pulling it in, pulling it in. Hopefully. I uh, didn't do it to that one. Come on, come on. I think the reason is it's gotta be flatter. Yeah. So let's uh let's turn this thing around. Let's turn the beat around. Do, 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 do. Turn it upside down. Okay, why is it not? Uh, get on out of there. Come on. Get on out of there. There we go. So now it's going to be pushing backwards. Now we should be able to lift it. There we go. Turn, 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 turn. Business, business, business. Numbers. Is this working? Yes. Yay. Okay. So, that looks like it's in there. Fairly. Oh, oh, there it, it's decent. Okay, here we go. Here we go. No, oh, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Is it because it's touching the ground? I bet. I bet it's because it's touching the ground, isn't it? Oh gosh. Okay. Um. Can we? Can we turn this this up while it's sitting there? Oh goodness. Oh my. Oh man. Okay. That does not work. It's it's touching the ground, and I bet you anything that's what's causing it to break. Let's go ahead and take that out of there. And that one. Okay. No longer touching the ground. I might have to move those walls. Just to test, just to test the emergency broadcast system. Oh, it did it! It did it! Oh my gosh. Uh, so it cannot be touching the ground either. If you if you have a piece of it and it's it's touching the ground at all, I think that messes with it because it, it's got to get pulled 
into like I guess you could have somebody else kind of pushing on it and then pull it back in but that that is a beautiful mod log right there that is how you mod all right so uh, in conclusion yes it's it's a mod saw and it works it works awesomely uh, it's a little glitchy got some bugs not gonna lie but huge shout out to source code for finding that that is a that is an amazing feat of awesome engineering and exact measurements um, so um, that's 30 minutes thank you everyone for watching this episode of lumber tycoon 2 with me heath haskins code primate don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those cool things i'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good youtuber does like a good neighbor code primates there oh gosh hold on <clears throat> i wonder if i get a copyright strike for that maybe, maybe. possibly I don't, I don't know um but yo I went hunting. I went looking for um, ModSaw 2020. And there are a bunch out there that show how to make the old version. I'll tell you this right now. It doesn't work with the old version. Hey guys. All right, hold on. I wanna be right about there. There we go. <sighs> like I said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go subscribe to source code as well. Um, I will throw his channel back up there one more time. Uh, not that one. There it is. Right there. Source code. 1,004 subscribers. He's got this little icon right here. Amazing guy. Just, just amazing. So, love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we will talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.